Well, good morning and welcome to the Kennedy Space Center. I don't have to tell you all how exciting it is to have uh, the first flight of humans to space from the Kennedy Space Center in nine years. Uh, and what an historic pad to be doing it from. Uh, we went to the moon from pad 39A and 82 of our 135 shuttle missions launched off that pad, including three of my flights. And now rather than rusting away in the salt air through our partnership with SpaceX, uh, that pad is being used once again, and it's now for our commercial crew program as well as other missions for SpaceX, and I think that's absolutely outstanding. Uh, everything is, um, is looking good. We are, as of right now, we are go for launch. Uh, as Bettina said, the weather um, is about 60% favorable for launch tomorrow, which is good news. And we're going to go to the International Space Station. And what we do there, of course, is we're transforming how we do spaceflight in general. The commercial crew program is in fact about commercializing low earth orbit. We've got resupply, now we're gonna have crew, soon we're gonna have commercial space stations. Now, um, I'm wondering if NASA personnel are allowed to intervene and take over from SpaceX at any point during the mission if NASA feels that it is necessary. Uh, the, the answer to that question is yes. Um, we, of course, are the customer here um, and so we do, but look, uh, our goal is to have SpaceX uh, be able to do missions one day without NASA. We want them to go get customers that are not us. Um, and so we want to make sure that they're making decisions, but if we, if we see something that um, we disagree with, certainly uh, we, we have the right to, to intervene.